Hey, I just realized something. In the old versions, we used to have a filter called the magnifying glass. I just don't see it anymore because I really like to be able to do something like this. But, oh, I just did it. And I'm going to show you how I did this. So the old magnifying glass FX has been replaced with a new one called the cut away. So let's have an add on to that or quickly add that. But before I do, I think my colors look pretty bland and I, I want to make it look better so i'm going to use dual booster it's a real quick little plugin that you can drop and drag and it makes all the colors pop and look at the reds isn't that fantastic let's go back to new blue elements click and drag cut away drop it on your timeline into the start filter and cut away all right little interface pops up and i think the one i used was the off center one here and obviously you can have control, like you want to change the border colors, you can then tweak the width, and you can also feather it, like if you want to blend it in the, into the background. If I want to move this, let's say, for instance, onto the monitor, I can definitely do that just by moving this to wherever I need to make it go. There we go, let's go maybe on the monitor. And that's pretty cool. And you can actually use the keyframes as well. But what I like about this one compared to the last one, the magnifying glass, you have kind of really cool little options here which are already set up in the preset. And I think this is a pretty cool effect because I can see possibilities of using this one. But let's have a look at something that I was able to do in the last version and could we repeat it into this version? And the answer is obviously yes, so let's do that. A popular thing you quite often see in videos is where they take portions of text and then highlight it. We used to do this in the magnifying glass, but I think all they've done now is just called it cut away. Why, I don't know. Let's see how easy it is to manipulate or change this filter. Let's go to cut away. We're going to get into the interface. You're going to get many, many presets here, which you can just simply apply. All I've done here, I've added the preset called the white rectangle. And then I can start manipulating the aspect ratio, aspect ratio. And then we can manipulate the size of it. And we can also zoom in on the text or zoom back out, depending on what you need. Here, you can change the border color. Let's say if you want more of a yellowish and then you can increase the width of that and you can also feather it to more blend it into the background. Whatever your needs are, it can all be done through here. So as you can see, all these presets are here, which can easily be changed through the customization of here. Once you're happy with that, oh, so I'm going to show you one more thing, actually. Uh, I screwed that up, didn't I? <laughs> here we go. Let's go to blue. I've never used blue. Okay. One more thing, you can change the origin of where you're zooming in on the text. And then if you don't like that box here, you just simply move this using this little node here. And there you go, it's so simple to use. I'm pretty sure with a creative mind, you can probably find useful ways to use this filters other than text. I don't know what it could be, but maybe you could. And as always, thanks for watching.